Hello. Have you got your shallots in yet? I couldn't have picked a better time to do this job. There's a blackbird on the roof next door singing its head off. In between me talking and me being quiet and the traffic noise, you'll hear that blackbird. Listen that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Let's have a look at what we've got here. What about these? Rocket sticks. Plant markers. Four pop bottles stapled together. Ten inch pots. Homemade compost. Store bought shallots. Okay, so if you don't have an allotment, if you don't have raised beds, if you don't have a border collie called Molly, it's not a problem. All you need is a couple of these 10 inch pots and some store bought shallots. We plant these today, um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to splice into the video um, a section of video from last year where I actually grew store bought shallots. If nothing else, it'll give you some confidence that they will grow and you will get a result. And what I'll also do is I'll give you a link to a video compilation that I put up earlier this year how to grow shallots in pots start to finish. So you can actually see this start to finish. So you'll have an idea that, yeah, it works, right? What we're going to do with these guys? Well, we're going to put four shallots in a pot. We're going to try and get them in the middle of these pot bottles. We're going to use these markers to help us. So if we just pop these four markers in like this. Okay. And we'll take this off. And that's where we want to plant our shallots. Now, I've got one here actually. These guys have been standing outdoors for a while in this compost. Um, this is the only one that's actually made an attempt to throw up a shoot. All the rest haven't, and I know it's got some roots. So we'll empty them out on this pot, then we'll plant four. Okay. Um, and what I like about these store bought shallots is you can actually count how many's in the packet. Now, I've got 12. So I'm going to sow four of you, four of you, and we'll keep four as reserves. And if all the others get away, then we'll plant another pot. Okay, well, this is the guy that's got a few roots, as well as a shoot. How about that? So we'll bang him in first, shall we? And that's where we're going to put him, just there. Now there's not much more I can tell you about this, so what I'll do is I'll keep quiet and hopefully that blackbird will sing us through this, uh, this video. Okay. Oh, he's gone quiet now, hasn't he? Just when you wanted him to sing, he's went quiet. It was a weird game. How easy is that? How easy was that? Now then, what are we putting these on for? Well, I'll tell you why we're putting these on. And they fit perfectly, incidentally, into these 10 inch pots. Four of these um, pot bottles cut off, top and tailed, and stapled. They fit perfect. Uh, we're putting these on as a windbreak. Uh, the garden can be quite windy, uh, and I just like the uh, plants' protection. And we'll hold these pots in place. Uh, we'll hold these bottles in place, should I say these wind protectors with these rocket sticks. How easy was that? Now, I'll carry on with these. You, you, you've seen, you can see what it is, you know what we're doing here. Um, but check out the bit of video I'm clipping to this and visit how to grow shallots in pots start to finish and you'll see what's possible here. You won't believe it. Four shallots in a pot on a patio. What are they likely to produce? 
And the other thing of course is you don't need to wait till they form shallots. If you want to take them as green onions or a spring onion, you can actually harvest these all, all the way through the season. Just keep taking them. Just leave the bulb, just leave the shallot in the pot, but take the green that grows on top. They're lovely for salads. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. Enjoy the clip. Um, this is Homegrown Veg, signing out. Hello. Can you remember these guys? Shallots in pots, not a lot. <laughs> Store bought shallots, these were shallots that were bought to be eaten. But I set some aside and I've sown four in this pot, this 10 inch pot. And I've had to protect them using these stapled together lemonade bottles, pop bottles, uh, because we've had some severe winds lately and I think you'll agree these guys don't look too bad do they <laughs>